Date in a moment, she's going north. Hi, girl. I've got one female lion, uh, she's just crossed in to Vuyatela from Gauri, Maine, quite close to Triple M, about 100 meters from Triple M. It's, guys, look who it is, it's Amber Eyes. Hi, girl, we haven't seen you for a while. All right, I just want to call ta uh, copy taxi. I'll just you must fuck a jumbo because she's she's yeah. I can see the signs on Triple M. She's calling, but she's now changed direction. She's now going east through the block. No, now she's gone the fire break, going westish. Okay, let's keep up with her. It looks like Amber Eyes. Come on, car. No, goodness gracious, these cars give us grey hairs. Sorry, David, I just, there's so many fallen trees here. Again, last night you saw us trying to maneuver. Are you ready, David? Over the tree we go. Right, sorry about that. Now I've lost the line. Did you see where she went? This is, oh, there she is. I mean, the only problem, of course, with trying to maneuver with the long grass is you literally cannot see anything okay and we're gonna catch up with her it does look like amber eyes she looks to be in good nick she of course has those beautiful um colored eyes not the typical yellow golden eyes that you see with most lions oh, it's okay it's okay i right, just drove over a tree and that gave her a bit of a fright but we are quite a distance away from her we're about 40 meters or so as you can see She's a little bit jumpy, so we'll give her a bit of room. I actually noticed this, it's quite interesting. And I don't know why they've become so jumpy, but the last time I saw the Nguhumas, and, and particularly Amber Eyes and the youngest Nguhuma lioness, they didn't like vehicles. So I, I don't know if it's because they were in the Manuleti and just not seeing any cars for such a long time that they'd become a bit nervous of them, or what the reason is, but we'll just make sure we give her plenty of room. Let me just update again. Yeah, taxi's mobile on the fire break in parallel with uh, Gary Main towards Triple M. We're about to pop out onto Triple M now, Fugger Jumbo. Just telling tax to get on, move on, because... What's wrong, girl? She's very unhappy, this lioness, and, and it's actually, it's very unusual. That's very, very strange, because we're going so slowly. I'm actually still in low range, which means we can't go very fast. go have a look and she was calling she was contact calling too so she might be looking for a better half Whew. wow that's a long question we'll just watch her go like i said we'll give her a bit of space so james now you were wondering of course um what this lioness if she were her and the youngest and kuhuma were to give birth and have cubs would it take longer for her to introduce them to the rest of the pride because of the the massive age gap i think with our little floppy eared girl the age gap is about six it will be about six months um james no not necessarily i mean i don't know if these lions have had uh, cubs before we know the youngest lioness definitely hasn't amber eyes i don't think she has so it's we'll just have to really wait and see but there shouldn't be any reason um that she she hides them of course there's always that argument with if she she brings them in too young the other cubs let me just catch the spider web uh, the other cubs may be a bit uh, boisterous with them so there is that but you'll see um, that mom will be there at the st every step watching the youngsters making sure that they don't uh, get too rough uh, so I suppose I suppose it really just it depends she may try and introduce them and if they find if she finds that it's too, you know a bit too early she could always take them away and hide them again I've seen that happening before and she's now crossed into Arethusa, I think. Yeah. 